Hey folks, we'll learn what is Tkinter, how GUI works in Python, and how to create our very first window using just a few lines of code. Let's get started. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on that like button if you like my video. Also click on that notification bell. Thank you. Kinter is a built-in Python library used to create simple desktop applications. It is not made for web pages. It works only for programs that open in a separate window on your computer, just like regular desktop software. When you use Tkinter, your program doesn't run in a browser. It opens its own window where users can click buttons, type in boxes, and see messages, all using Python only. The best part about Tkinter is that you don't need to install anything extra. It already comes with Python. And unlike web development, uh, where you have to learn multiple languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to build interfaces, Tkinter lets you do everything using just Python. This makes it perfect for beginners who want to create real, working GUI programs without needing to know many different tools or languages. So, the purpose of using Tkinter is to make Python programs more user-friendly. Let's take Intuit as an example. A well-known American company that creates business software like TurboTax and QuickBooks. These tools are designed to help accountants, small business owners, and financial teams manage their tasks easily. When a small company signs up or starts using Intuit services, they might need tools to calculate totals, track expenses, generate invoices, or organize customer records. Intuit provides them with easy-to-use desktop applications where they don't have to write any code. They simply interact with buttons, forms, and menus. Behind the scenes, a developer at Intuit can build these tools using Python and Tkinter. While Python handles the logic and calculations, Tkinter is used to build the GUI, the visual part of the software that users see and interact with, for example, the user clicks a button to load customer data, types in amounts in input fields, and clicks Generate Invoice to view a result or save it as a file. All of this is done through a clean and friendly window on the desktop. Tkinter helps make these experiences possible, turning Python logic into a working software interface that even non-technical users can use easily. In Python, we use a library called Tkinter to create GUI applications. This library comes built into Python, so we don't need to install anything extra. We add it at the beginning of our program because it gives us everything we need to create windows, buttons, labels, input boxes, and other visual parts of an application. Let's start it by importing this library in Python known as Tkinter. We import it using a short name, tk, which lets us use all of its built-in functions without typing tkinter every time. So whenever we want to create something like a window, a label, or a button, we write it as a tk.something. This is one of the cleanest ways to organize GUI programs in Python. Next, we create the main window of our program. This is done by using a special function called tk, written from the tk library. When we assign this function to a variable, let's say we call it window. We're basically saying, hey, Python, create a window and remember it with the name window, so we can keep adding things into it. This window acts as the main container for everything that will appear in our GUI. Then, we set the title of this window using a special function called title, which belongs to our window variable. We write a string like tkinter widgets demo to appear on the top of the window bar. This helps the user know what this window is about. After that, we use a geometry function to control the size of the window. In this case, we set the width 
to 1100 and the height to 700, which gives us a nice wide space to display all our widgets. These three lines are the backbone of any Tkinter app. They create and prepare the main GUI window. Now, let's talk about the function that makes this window actually appear. It's called main loop and we apply it to the same window variable. This function runs in a continuous loop and keeps the window open on the screen. Without it, the window would close immediately, even before anything shows up. It's like starting the engine until we stop it or close the window. The GUI will stay responsive, waiting for the user to interact. Now let's run this program. Here you can see the output that a big blank window with a title on top opens up. This is your canvas for all upcoming widgets. So this is a simple explanation of Tkinter and how to create the main window using it. And in the next lecture, we will learn how to place different widgets using Tkinter functions. See you in the next lecture. And let's keep learning together.